no, no, I didn't break it. <laughs> so I jump on the scale. It, it goes from one uh, from zero to 120. It's done and starts going past the made in China for whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so from there I vowed no, no more this scale. So now I got to a way bridge. Now I got to a way bridge. I got to a way bridge. I know my car is a one time. Plus, that's me. So I've been trying, because I mean, it's inevitable, I'll die anyway. So every time I go to watch uh, Mr. Zambia competition, mm. it's not like I'm there for the, uh, I'm looking at the potential pole bearers. I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the list. Add him, add him, add him, add him. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap, man. We're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good show. Uh, I've never seen Elson tear up. 74 episodes and Elson has never teared up. Is it? No, yeah. let, me t- let me tell you something. <laughs>Look who counted us in today from three, two, one. Anyway, welcome to That's That Podcast. My name is K Plus and Uncle Elsa. Dude, right. you should give me the audio for that thing so that I can just, you know. Cut them right. Yeah, so we can put it in the, you know, we've got advanced equipment now. We can actually plug it in. You don't say. I do say. I do say so The myself. audio I will give you. I, I don't know. I'm getting a negative vibe from you today. Is everything okay? Is the money in order? Did no, you, you know. the money you, come in? No, you know, you know what's, what's fucked up is like when you... When you budget for shit, mm-hmm. and then you, money doesn't come in according to how you budgeted for it, because the other company has withheld the tax and uh, all the bullshit. We have to have somebody from Zerari. I, I, I actually prefer when they withhold the tax. No, I get it. I get it. Then that before way, giving the money. Yeah, I don't have that pressure. way. You don't have the obligation you know I mean? to have to remit it. Exactly. I, exactly. I get it. But I, I, there's a couple of things that I could do with it, so and then that, I remit it. That's happening now with uh, one of my businesses and Trade Kings. As of this week, they're now withholding tax before the money comes to me. And yeah, I, I love that yeah. arrangement because when money comes into my mm. account, you have no time to start to pay tax. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole different yeah, story, bro. man. You keep calling them mixed race kids. So that's <laughs> that's his kids. That is kids. I'm sorry. You so, said yeah. she sent me the message the other day. Heaven and Aria. Just don't be yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Even though they are mixed race. Yeah. But then I'm good. Yeah. I'm good though. All right, cool. On this week's episode of That's That Podcast, we have Henry B.J. Piri, also known as Uncle Imani. Henry who now? I, I, no, I, I no, knew that was going to... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what I, I, I was very... Uh, <laughs> you know, every time uh, I've been telling Elson, we have a guest. I, I've been avoiding giving him your initials because I knew it was going to head... Head to this. No, 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 no. Henry BJP. It's actually Baldwin <laughs> Joseph. Holy Joseph Peary. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. But the initials, bro. It's, it's B. It's The initials. It's, it's Henry Baldwin Joseph Peary. Initials. BJP. Baget. It's oh, we, we, we pronounced it uh, oh, French now. Baget. Interesting. You, you know, it's funny. Because when we, I didn't take a good look at you. So, because it's like, Lots of light. So when I came in and then I saw you, I saw like your silhouette. And I was like, oh, that's VJ. I even came to you and I said, hey, VJ, what's up? And you responded. And you responded. Yeah. You started VGZ. Yeah, I thought you were VGZ. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> I'm not the first person to mistake you. No, 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 am I? He, he, he has that a lot, and I'm like, oh. But you don't. Know, now that you mention it, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. The yeah. same build. Yeah, same build. Just the gray hair. Because I was about to say, dude, you, what you aged in two <laughs> this, weeks? This is like I've a VGZ <laughs> Pro Max. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, bro, how much did you age in two weeks? What did you get married? But, how often so, but, you, but this is what happened to me. Just like the story you're telling. Uh, yeah. So like, 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 like the way I gained it. The way I gained the weight. It's mm-hmm. like I went away and came back, found my body. Where, where did you go? Because I never want to go. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Because I don't, I don't even know how I moved from weighing one twenty seven. 142. Where, where did you go? You said you went away two ways. It's, it's like, like, you said it's like, it's like I went, went somewhere. All oh, right, and like I left get my it. my body and then come back and find the body's gained. Do you know that I don't even go to the normal uh, weigh-ins? So the other time I excluded my brother's, uh, my brother went with the wife at, um, at labor, at the hospital. Mm. Where labor. You know, at the, at the, at the labor ward, mm. and there's a normal scale for mothers in a, in a motherly way. Mm. And um, I don't know for some reason, I just thought, let me try it. And you broke it. No, no, I didn't break it. <laughs> so I jump on the scale. It, it goes from one uh, from zero to one twenty. It's done and starts going past the made in China for whatever. That <laughs> <laughs> it starts going past the, <laughs> so from there, I vowed no, no more this scale. So now I go to a way bridge. Now I go to a way bridge. Now I go to a way bridge. I know my car is a one time plus. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's funny. <laughs> ah, dead. Yeah, dead. Ah, man. That guy's so one ton plus. Plus, <laughs> then I asked him uh, just after the. What's truck, the difference? Yeah. So just just after the, the flood maze, and I, I come next. I know my car is a one ton, and I'm like, "What did you? One? Okay, good. That's so, so one ton plus. That's me. <laughs> awesome." <laughs> I bet, I bet, I bet you have to use a crane to lift you into a tub or like exactly. from your exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, I so I've been trying because I mean it's inevitable. I'll die anyway. So every time I go to watch uh, Mr. Zambia competition, mm. it's not like I'm there for the what? I'm looking at the potential pole bearers, and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 he's on the list. Add him, add him, add him, add him. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap man we're gonna have a good time we're gonna have a good show uh, you know if there's anything i'm really looking forward to this year <laughs> it's uh your roast yes can we talk about your roast for a little bit before oh, we get I'm looking for both <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it's the first of its kind in zambia and yeah. you know what calling it you know what you're calling it remember how oh, wait, used- wait 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 <laughs> 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 Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. yeah. You know the, the other thing we haven't mentioned is we're now at uh <clears throat> so I have to get, I'm now choking thanks to Sorry sorry man. Yeah. Thanks to BJ Perry. So the thing we forgot to mention earlier is that we're actually at uh, Nervous New Studios. How wow. are you liking it? You can put it in the comments right now. Do you think uh, this should be our new home? This should should we make this place. our permanent home? This is the place to be. It is yeah. a place to be. Yeah? Place to right, be. yeah. I've this never seen place. Elson tear up. 74 episodes and Elson has never teared up. <laughs> is it? No, yeah. let, me t- let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. So, I don't know you from a can of paint. Yes. I kept telling this guy when he was when he was telling me about the guest. Like, yeah. No, who's this guy? So, even yesterday, yeah. when we were at uh, Zimbabwe, I'm going to send me this guy's profile because mm-hmm. I don't know this guy. And I couldn't so, find any profile. Yeah, yeah right. So, I say all this to say, like, I I prefer to know people organically. Correct. So, so the you. same way that I'm talking and I'm getting to know you, you're yeah. going to get to know me yeah. and vice versa, right? Yes. And the, the vibe that I'm getting from you <clears throat> so far, and the, the best people in the world are people who do not take themselves seriously. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Do you get what I mean? I mean, it was yeah. a way bridge. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so so had, had I said something half of what he has just said yep. about himself to somebody, uh, people would have been so offended and they're like, on your behalf. On your behalf. You know true. what I mean? Yeah. So I the people that I get, I make fun of him all, all the, the time. time. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know sure. what I mean? And sure. why I get along with him and why we have been friends for a year plus is because he doesn't take himself seriously. Yeah, true. I make fun of him dropping out of college and whatever else that I make fun of him about. And he doesn't, he he jokes about the same shit. Correct, correct. But you know what I mean? So about I myself. About himself. Wait, yeah. you know, you, you're an actor slash comedian and whatever entertainer. The world has changed so much. Yeah. From the time you started comedy, the world has become sort of sensitive. We're all woke. Very, very. How are you handling your comedy nowadays compared to when you started? Oh, he's a comedian. He's a comedian. <laughs> right, come on. Who? Which guest has ever had you tear up? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, because for you, um, we have had people landing in trouble because there's yeah. a thin line between comedy and buffoonery. Exactly. And so also you should know that a joke in this gathering can be an insult in the other. You need to understand, you need to know your audience. Unlike songs, unlike musicians. Yeah, musicians yeah. can walk, a musician can walk into here, do three, four tracks from his previous album and everybody be like, hey, I love that song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But with, uh, with comedy, you really have to read your audience yeah. because um, a joke... <laughs> Like I said, a joke, you go to an, to, 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 to an annual ball, mm. Zaf annual mm. ball, and you crack the same jokes, and they're like, hey, that was a good joke. I mean, his birthday, crack a joke at his birthday. Yeah. And because we're like, hey, take the same joke to a Zambia Air Force annual ball. <laughs> you become this joke. <laughs> you, you get wired. So yeah. it's difficult. And, yeah. um, and also, <clears throat> especially for the comedy world, you really have to be fast. You really have to be spontaneous. and uh, You have and, to think on your feet. Exactly. Yeah. Because you crack a joke now, you break your head and crack a joke now. As you're going out, it's already sprayed and you can't crack it again. Yeah. You can't crack yeah. it. Again. You can't say the same joke. Yeah. And and social media is serious competition. I actually thank God that um, I'm still invited for functions to be MC and things. I'm thinking because when I read social, when I go through social media, I see a lot of stuff that make me laugh and I'm like, I'm even being paid to do, to this, do this and there are people that are doing it better Mm. So it's, it's, it's and it's, not making any money out of no, that. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. And you know what? What you've just said is crazy because if you look at people like Dave Chappelle and um, and and, and Kevin Hart, mm-hmm. is <clears throat> they they do not write their material fast enough um, for them to say a new joke. So as if they're on tour, for example, mm-hmm. to say a new joke every single uh, venue or every single city, and this is why whenever they they go and they record they make sure they take people's phones away because exactly. they're saying oh, the same oh, material oh, over and over again. Because right. right. you find people already posted exactly. the joke from there Madison Square yes, Garden. Yes, so by the time yes. you're going so to Texas, people have already seen that people joke. Seen the people have already seen the joke. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. So, so they're keeping people's phones that, down. Yeah. So they oh, put your wow. phones in a Ziploc bag. I yeah. remember yeah. I went to see Dave Chappelle. Yeah, they put your yeah. phone in a Ziploc bag yeah. and if you are seen to be recording anything, you are chucked out. Exactly. So they take your phones away because then... If he's on a ten city tour, he's gonna say the same, see, the yeah, same exactly, set exactly everywhere every he goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, because it's funny. You get to so, ah, it's there, and you crack your joke, and people are like, ah. yeah, I've seen it, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. It happened. And the Western audience is, uh, sorry to say, Indian audience. Uh, it was, I think, <laughs> uh, what were they called? Auto World or something? They had um, a couple. No, that was a. I think it was a bank, some Indian bank in Zambia. Yeah. I will not mention who. And so they had end of year party, <laughs> and they invited one of our senior comedians as MC. Yeah. And uh, they did a successful job in. Uh, they they hired them for the Livingstone branch, mm. and then they called them for the main show now in in uh, Lusaka mm. at Pamozi. Mm. And so, and 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 you don't want to have an Indian, sorry, drunk in your audience. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder oh, why. Oh. Why is that? And so the big man cracks his jokes. He does the same set. That is here in Livingston. Yeah. And we're like, we know that one already. <laughs> <laughs> you are telling us that joke in Livingston. <laughs> and he changes because he had gone there with a colleague. Oh. And he got there with a colleague. They are both passed on. They have since passed on. All wow. of them. So he went there with a colleague and he cracks another joke now. From his colleague said, then there's the, the Indian guy, hi. And his friend said, no, 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 Pratap, sit down now. Pratap. No, I'm telling that joke. It does not start by you. In fact, it is your friend. This is... The man came down to the soccer place and said, I'm going to go to the soccer place. I'm going to go to the soccer stealing someone's joke. Yeah. And they are drunk and they are coolies. Oh. And the one before that, yeah. I heard you say it in Livingston. Yeah. We are knowing that joke already. You are telling us in living <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. and, 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 and you know, it's yeah. difficult. You know, you know, you know it's, you're telling jokes. First of all, to tell jokes as a Zambian, to tell jokes yeah. in English. Hey! Oh, yeah. Because uh, you have to translate the yes, joke yes, first. Yeah, yeah, the joke yeah. And yeah. it loses it on the way. It loses, yeah. 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 It loses yeah. all yeah. the essence. But yeah. it's, mm. it's okay when you're telling jokes in your mother line. I mean, the mother tongue. Mother yeah. tongue. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now in English, and you're telling it to Indians. <laughs> And there's how much of a translation there? It's from yeah. Bemba in your mind, in your mind, then to English from to, your mouth, exactly, and then and you still English need to make it <laughs> Hindi, and you still need to make it funny, exactly, exactly. In, in, in all of that. Wow, Dude, how do you deal with hecklers? Oh yeah, uh, so there are times when you have hecklers, and uh, you, you, you either use them 
You know the soft analysis, you turn them into your into material. Your yeah. Yeah. So there are times, there are times, like when we started Zambia One Comedy, mm-hmm. we had a set of uh, hecklers in, uh, in Kitwe. And we were doing a tour of all the theater houses in, on the Copper Belt. Yeah. So these these guys were actually warned that, ah, the Copper Belt can be rough, Kitwe can be rough. Uh, yeah. And these guys came in and sat in the front row. Uh, he saw rest in peace, Augustine Lungu. Oh, yeah. 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 And uh, he, he went to open the set with Bob. And these guys kept saying, guys there are these three guys in the front row I ignore them but I look they are really it's like so we went there and they kept yeah, and then they would walk out and they would come back with drinks walk out come and none to us at the end of the show were scared and none to us was that every time they do that they would go outside to laugh Oh, <laughs> <laughs> they were going to laugh from outside. <laughs> they came back here. Look, gangster. Gangster. They, gangsta. gangsta. <laughs> they came back backstage. Ah, money for pondo mouth. And they took us around from Mufrila, Kichingola. They followed you around. Yes, they followed us around. They became our de facto uh, sponsors. And wow. so, so how yes. would you deal with that? You still haven't told me Good. how you. Would. Oh, you're too scared there's to say no, shit. There's, 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 there's no getting used to that. <clears throat> there's, there's there are times you are in front and this guy just keeps. Straight them back at you, mm. and if you're not careful, you get distracted and you lose your seat and you're right. Gone. Paul Pops and Dave Chappelle are beasts when it comes to hecklers. Yeah. Like you don't want to say shit no, when they are. They know how to. They handle will. Been dis- they will destroy Big you. Time. Big time. I've seen mm. Paul Pops and Dave Chappelle destroy oh. man. I was yeah. even even our own Trevor. <coughs> Trevor's good at that. He's mastered it. And Trevor's cool, one Trevor of the, yeah, he's, he's very very intelligent. Yeah, he's because he, he can turn you into a subject yeah, exactly. But Depending then, on how you're dressed and I your like, voice or something. I felt yeah. like we now have the watered down Trevor because of <clears throat> he has to be politically correct all to be, the time. Yeah. yeah, he has to be PC. He's now <laughs> on the mainstream, so he doesn't really say what I feel like he wants to say yeah. or how he was when when he was. That's the, that's the danger. You need to go know your game <clears throat> because, um, like you guys, I must give it to you guys. You've kept your your vibe yeah. because eventually people will come with political ideas. And, of course, yeah, and you start become. We have lost some talk shows. In, I mean, some radio, what do you call them? Radio, radio, sh- radio, radio, <coughs> radio those breakfast shows. shows. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some, some radio stations have lost it because they started on the right path and with time because they they, they started changing <coughs> script. It happens with character. If you don't know yeah. what you you stand for, you can the, easily be persuaded to go into things that you... Yeah, yeah, it's calling almost likely tell you there, there are some corporates that have come to us and said, if you want us to sponsor you, you have to change this, you have to change clean this. up this, yeah, no, you stop swearing, fire no, 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 no. Who said, in fact, who, who, the, who the, I want to say on your show, can I please feel free? Who, who, who the who the fuck? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who it was, it was Zamtel, huh? it was Zamtel. Is it? Hmm. I can't say anything Your about former Zamto, employers. Your former employers. Yeah. Yeah, Zamto. Zamto is so green. Uh, yeah. You know, Zamto is, um, is, um, is like if you're a church, you're comparing to UCZ, evangelical. <laughs> you know what I mean? They are the, um, the young choir, faithful, young choir. Yeah, they are not your yeah. everyday. Yeah. Hmm. But that's why they've got the least subscribers anyway. Mm. Yeah, but, th- but then At again. At this point, I would like to... T- to but then again, with, with, with a show like this, not everybody can be our sponsor. No, that's no. it. Not... No. Everyone. You're unique. Exactly. You're unique. So, I mean, even right now, we've got a sponsor, somebody who's, who's helping us push whatever. But. May so you rest in peace again, uh, Sinkala. Brighton yeah. Sinkala. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You oh, had yeah. him at Yon Peru. You, you need to understand that this is Brighton that Sinkala. That guy you would diss I mean? you as. Exactly. The person who hires him, yeah. uh, his jokes. Yeah. No one is safe. <laughs> he say, he, no one was he safe. God rest his soul. You know, he. One of the. You know, I was at the Pamosi Hotel and he was in the other room, uh, Mopani. He was in the Mopani, so I was in uh, Amalila. And so we're doing weddings. We're doing some wedding reception. And uh, <laughs> some, it, oh, this one allows us to say, but I can't. So some non figure was guest of honor. Mm. And the lady was marrying was a, was a, was a, was a, was a, was a doctor. So the, the guest of honor is some non figure and, um, he says very few, very few would pursue that kind of uh, study and uh, and complete. You have two beautiful shows referring to the late, to the, to the what you call it, the bride. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I mean, you have a you and our The woman you know, then he refers to the guest of one, and the guest of one <laughs> doesn't only have bad looks, but she's got she's ugly. That's the term. <laughs> and, 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 and look at him being political. Yeah, like and, right and, now. And, and, and you know, that's 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 him. He'll get away with it. 
Yeah. So if you hire him, you, as you hire him, you already I, know that this is the kind of person we are hiring, and you have to go with it. That's him. If you hire, Bo, if you hire Bob, if you hire Bob, Bob is different from. Yeah. So yeah, those Z Bob, Z keep what you're doing. Thank Bob you. Bob has a lot of uh, throwback jokes, <coughs> and I, I like that. He He's reminds you of so much mm. that used to happen in, back in the day, mm. like when we were kids, Those games Bob. used to mm. play. Bob and Kosha. We're Bob gonna have. He's scared of coming on the podcast. I don't know why. Maybe I can speak to him. Now right that now. I'm here, he will come. He will come. Yeah. Or is is he was he on radio? Bob Nkosha, he's a pioneer in terms of... Uh, Zambian comedy. Zambian uh-huh. comedy as well, so. uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. brilliant. He even won what? Uh, Kings of Comedy? Uh, Kings of Comedy. Z- yeah. on Zambia Stand King- of Zambia. Yeah, on Emnet. Oh, on Emnet, oh, yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, wait, why is he scared to come on? I have no idea. Chizungu. The, Chizungu. No, no, no. Bob speaks proper <laughs> English. <laughs> English <man. laughs> Bob speaks uh, proper, proper come English. Come on, you can English. Come on. Come on. But if we could get Maki too and and Sheffy... We have textbook English. Yeah, I mean, with okay. Mikey and Chef, we're like 50- Are you 50- that bad? What do you mean? Are you that provocative? Fam, who, am, I not, am I not saying any something that's- No, that's, no, no, his, his, point, his point is, uh, Mikey and Sheffy will can, not- uh, can, I, can I, please come to the roast. You have the, you, you'll be the chief roaster. <laughs> you are just so- <laughs> You, are you a depend? Are you a depend? Are you a descendant of Mleng, uh, of the Kapwepwes? Yeah, they're, they're just straightforward. Okay, Kapwepwe yeah. said it is in the book. Mulan don't go up the bar. That's it. Are we talking about the anus here? Hmm. You guys, you know. But that, that's a Bemba phrase. You know the thing about Bemba when you translate to English, mm-hmm. it just sounds bad. Or is yeah. it from English to Bemba? Correct. When you say anus in English, it's okay. But when you say it in Bemba, pamputi, it sounds. Oh. Oh my god, you know, <laughs> big in church, you know, that oh my god, yeah, but, a church. and Nerbid, mm. Nerbid, how do you, how do you, de- how do you deal with this, man? Because, because I can see even Malcolm, Malcolm is so spiritual as well, he's, he's fuming, and like, <laughs> no, but guys, no, really, honestly, Malcolm, when we say something in English and we say it in Bemba, why is it, why is it that when somebody says it in Bemba, it sounds like they, they are in Celsius or. Of, it sounds offensive. Fact, why? That's why uh, I think. That's why, you know, in English, I may say dick, but if I say it in Bemba, people are cringing. In fact, in fact, that's why I think Tupac and them were limited in their insults. They're very, very. I you mean, see what? It's, yeah. it's, 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 you say them. It was. It's, it's what the the, the 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 West Side insults is what mother mother two f two. But if you go to Intercity, have you ever, even just the gum? Ah uh, no, I can't. Oh! Even, I, I can't even spend an hour at Intercity, bro. Who's va- who's just 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 can you imagine uh, what's an Ivanka? That that <laughs> what's <laughs> going on with that girl? Oh, she's got a. Wow. It's like 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 Simon said. And, like, I, and I'm glad you brought that up. What's what's going? Have, have you noticed? Have you, have she you, needs you, prayers. I think what I think is she needs counseling. She must be going through some stuff. And uh, <clears> in Zambia, uh, we ha- we don't know how to handle such things. If she was working, she'd just probably be fired. But no, she needs counseling. She's coming out. She's she's venting. She's the thing she's talking about needs somebody to sit. Do down you think with all her. these Roberto issues are true? Though? I was about to say the same thing. Now apparently Roberto was hitting that. Uh, you or know, she, or she trying to gain clout and remain relevant in the industry. What what, what are your thoughts? Ish. I'll tell you what. Um, she spoke about your BFF too, Mtale. Serious. Oh, yeah. this, this should be entertaining. That Mutale uh, had some witchcraft voodoo shit done on her. I tell like you what, one. I don't want oh. to be insulted. Mm. I will not, I'll, I'll, I'll skip this one. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but to tell you what, I think she needs prayers. She needs somebody to talk to her. She, we have different ways of um, expressing our, uh, our, our, um, choosing what boy. It's just that, in Venet, bro. It's just that in, in, in our country we don't have proper. Um, Say it in Venet, I'll translate. <coughs> we don't have, um, others are introverts. There mm-hmm. are people who are introverts, some are extroverts. Mm-hmm. And uh, extroverts like us who go and rant like what my sister is doing. But some people, if not spoken to, or they keep it to themselves, they end up probably just committing suicide and so on. Yeah, but I think true. they need to be talked to. Then she needs to be talked to. <coughs> then, there's a lot going on in this industry here. Yeah. There's a lot of yeah. Could be the reason. I was speaking to I was speaking to Naeem. I don't know if you know this yeah. that there were three, one, two, three suicides is in as many weeks at Apex. Yeah, university. Why, because because of social media issues. I have no uh, fucking idea pressure. why. So I was speaking to Naeem saying, "Can we can we do something about this? Either going to Apex because it's twofold, right? Because now the students that are there that are left who have lost their friends or their colleagues need trauma counseling." Correct. And to yeah, also get yeah. to the root of it, to mm. figure out 
Why? Why? Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of suicide among university students. I watched a movie from India. Mm. Three idiots. Oh yeah, 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 three idiots. Remember? Yeah, yeah. They talked about it a little because of pressure. I am from picking my son from school. I oh, the scene where they put the the drone goes up and the then drone. they see the guy yeah, hanging hang himself because yeah. the grades went down exactly. and exactly. He his knew father. his father was gonna exactly. be upset with him. Exactly. For, and his grades were good though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the were. pressure but from family and, and and also this issue of I want you to become a doctor. Mm. No, I want you to be a lawyer. Mm. Mm. And the yeah. guy just wants to become a DJ. Exactly. And you know the and the, the craziest thing. And the mm. craziest thing. And I used to see this around me, where parents <clears throat> would tell you to see. Do you see me coming home at two a.m.? Do you see me sweating over this? Do you see me doing this? Is because of your fees? Do you mm. get what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, you are yeah. unloading your guilt onto that Some child. Is, yeah, yeah. So when that, when that child, when when their grades come back and they are not as satisfactory as they think their parents True. would want them to be. Now all that talk it becomes is, an issue. I, I would have bought myself a Mercedes had it not been exactly. because of you. I would have done A, B, C, and D had it not become. Right? Look at us with a 21-inch TV in the house. Yeah, right. If, got, go, if I didn't pay for you, I would have a 65-inch on the wall. It's not. I yeah. asked to be born. It's your fucking responsibility. <laughs> don't don't burden me with that bullshit. And and, and, and you see, uh, earlier on, I had a chat with you. Um, yeah, I had my own diary retained three times. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> my diary was returned three times because uh, they, w- when we went to, t- when I took my diary with my people, we well, just told, ah, come on. And I think somebody called um, one of the senior members of um, of my wife's side and she was like, standing right towering. F- oh, we're all seated there and she goes like, yeah. And the, the, like just some, some you were reduced to a dance. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. They didn't see the art. Ah, no, 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 that's the dance. It's just so the like, so take his money back. You used to dance for MC Wabuino. I, look, I used to dance for MC Wabuino. But you I was, used to dance. Or, or did you look the way you do? You no, know? I was tiny. I was, I was what? I, what I was? I was a champion, judo champion. I was weighing forty-five then. Forty-five what? Yeah, forty-five kg. Dance. Oh. So, you know, for 5 kg, <laughs> okay. I was judo champion for zone six. I used to weigh foot five, I beat all the foot fives. I used to be, yeah. You know, when, when, I was, the, when was the last time you could see your dick without a mirror? No, I see it. Without a mirror? You. No, let me show no, you. No, I don't want to no, see no, it. Come on, I'll show you. I see it a lot. And the resemblance. <laughs> Mrs. Nerbert, please forgive us. And the us. resemblance. It's to what? They're, they're like me and he, and like, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, and so they rejected my the diary just like that. I tell you what, my 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 father saw rest in peace. I watched my first movie on his shoulders. Yeah, like he carried me to, and from there I took interest. Like, how did they do that? How did they? And um, today, people like Malcolm who agree with me. Yeah, you know, we used to get t-shirts, mm. a branded t-shirt. When you, you act properly, they say, you're a good actor. Here's a t-shirt. You walk home You're like, hey, I was given this t-shirt by the producer. Mm. The prize. But today yeah. we have moved from. Um, Totally now we've moved from a community of filmmakers to what is almost becoming an industry because now I left my former employment at Zamtel mm. to pursue film uh, for to pursue um, what I love most, what I have a passion for, which is film. I'm actually at the verge of um, building a small Tyler Perry like wow. studio. Mm. Yeah, in Kanakantapa, we are almost getting there. like like Nerbert Studio, like Nerbert Studio, ah. like like yeah, like Nerbert Studio. I vote for Nerbert 2026. Big time, man. Right? Ah, he's doing the most. And yeah, so yeah. we are moving in the direction because back then. To be told you're a comedian, mm. uh, they were, uh, comedian is just it's Bob and them who started telling, giving us titles like comedians. Those were nyawa ma funnies, nyawa you know. So yeah, uh, it's getting there. It's becoming an industry. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I remember the times we used to meet a lot. Yeah. you were working for Zamtel. Yes, I'm trying to understand the transition. You working for Zamtel and what gave you the courage to leave that job? Were you if I may add, you looked quite comfortable. You looked quite happy. Mm. And comedy wasn't quite making you that much money as Zamto w- was. No. Or was it? It's what a, gave you the confidence to leave Zamto? To it's a just fear branch out on your own? Risk. It's a fear of risk. Because Malcolm is here. Yeah. Uh, I, I just joined uh, Zua. And we were shooting right. from Siavonga. Mm. Siavonga town itself. Uh, by a place called Lusitu, is it? And uh, so I would leave Zamto at, uh, at 5 o'clock. Mm. And these guys were already in Siavonga. So I'll drive to Siavonga and walk straight into set, film from, uh, say, nine, six, 7 p.m. up to past midnight, like 3, six, uh, three 4 in the morning, and uh, 
continue again the following morning up to then Sunday I'd leave uh, Siavonga past um, six seven drive back home join my family and then Monday go to Zamtel I think sometimes lunch sneak from lunch go and film I I then started losing it I love what I did uh, what I was doing at Zamtel because I was trade marketing for Zamtel mm-hmm. which was quite demanding I had to do countrywide tours okay uh, trade audits and things, <coughs> things like that and then I loved doing what I was doing on the other side which was filming so I started conflicting myself mm-hmm. and then when I looked at it I said I've done 15 years of corporate uh, it's not time to do my passion and I think by now uh, by that time I'd already gained my family's confidence and my in-laws started respect me and not as a dancer I said <laughs> so at, at least now they knew and I, I took a lot it didn't take much to convince my wife that look we can live off my my the little salary is, from is she the one calling No, this is another card that now he's found land. <laughs> and I'm tired of this card land. Yeah. So Right. So I had to pursue this and uh, I made up my mind when I saw how I started climbing because um, when I did I'm not a witch. I was about, that, that was my next question actually. We'll mm-hmm. come we'll come to that in a bit. Yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Remember Pamela? No. Pamela? Who? Condway? No. Or the one that got kidnapped? No, no, no. Which Pamela? Anderson? Uh, I'll, I'll remind you about the story later about Pamela. Do I know Pamela? Yeah, very, 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 very well. <laughs> But the story for another day. In what about context? <coughs> Just give me context. Uh, Chitwe. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. Yes, Pamela. yes, 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 yes. I remember. Pamela. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So Pamela one day, I meet Pamela. I think we met just near here, Central Mall. And she tells me, dude, I need a ride. We're on set shooting something in McKinney. There's a major movie. Some people from Europe have come through from... Uh, for, for a, a movie production, whatever. Mm. And they're looking for a very desert looking like setup mm. and they mm. found McKinney in Central Africa. I'm like, mm. oh, okay, cool. So we drive to McKinney and we find, dude, I've never been so mind blown before with equipment. I couldn't believe I was in Zambia. It felt like Hollywood for a second, yeah. yeah? And I'm told they're shooting a movie entitled, I Am Not A Witch. Yeah. And you know when movies being produced, it's, there's nothing much. You don't no. get to see what the cameramen are seeing, what the director is seeing, mm. right? Mm. And then a the movie comes out And I got a glimpse of it. I saw the, the trailers and stuff. And months later, Call this movie is winning awards in Europe like crazy. What? He's starring in it. Yeah. How, first of all, how did you even land that job to start with? Yeah, so there's a, the, when, the, when did it come out? 2017. And it was hard to find a movie in Zambia. Yeah. No, I watched that it's movie. Only I, I watched that movie, movie on a plane. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I couldn't find it yeah, in yeah, Zambia. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the only? It's the only African film that has gotten three BAFTA awards. Not BEFTA. No, not BEFTA. The one, the one that Rough Kid got. No, that everybody, those, no, no, no. The, the, the one that everybody says is fake. But you got a BAFTA. It's BAFTA. The real British, one. Yeah, yeah. Film what? It's a BAFTA. Uh, the BAFTAs. Film British. The, yeah. The Dude. British Film Academy. What? Yeah. And, his, and, and, and his, his movie showed at the Cannes Film Festival, bro. No The Cannes. I was on the Cannes. Yeah. yeah. Where are the Cannes? He, he was sent there, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, man, I was just saying, sir. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm, I'm just trying to compare to our own British dude, Kazari and Black Dollar, million dollar movie. No, the Black Dollar didn't go anywhere. I am not a witch, though. You should see the movie. I'm it's not about a, a little kid who's, she's... Yeah, it's about, uh, it's centered on a little uh, kid and um, she was told, if you don't do this, you'll be turned into, a, you'll be turned into a god or something like that. Mm. Actually... I was filming that from my wife. My wife was in hospital. Right. So I'd move from, I'd come from hospital straight to McKinney to shoot and they'll pick mm. me. And like that. Do you know how much I got for that? Mm. I got, uh, for that, I got 15,000 kwacha. That's a wow. lot more than the guy from the gods must be crazy God. Yeah, true. And you know what? I got 15,000 kwacha and uh, I thank God for Rungano Nyoni, yeah. who, who the director of that film and the mm. author. So she didn't know that that's how much I got as a, as a, as a lead. Right. And uh we went around to tour with it we're all over Morocco, we're in Germany, we're in America. Actually that movie was submitted for Oscars as a Africa. Wow. Yeah, it was. It's quite good. It's big. and that's what I got yeah. I got um out of it really. It's the um, exposure. Exposure. Got 15,000 kwacha from it. And so recently uh Rungano and in fact the whole movie she didn't give me the script. She would just tell me okay Improvise. BJ. Yeah, so BJ this scene is about this. BJ this is And then at the end of the movie, we wrapped and we had the rap party. Then she gives me the whole script. She says, here's the script now. Wow. And yeah, and she says, thank you so much. Uh, you did it. And I am greatly, I'm greatly humbled. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm highly indebted to her. And so she comes back last year with another film. Uh, it's a, it should be coming. I can't start talking about it now. Right. So 
the guys, the producers come to me and say, hey, look, uh, this is about, uh, it's about, uh, we're giving you 25,000 kwacha pay the three times you're going to appear in the movie. So I say, I look, last time I got 15,000 kwacha. They says, what? You got 15,000 kwacha? No, 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 no. So I said, so how much do you want for this? I said, okay, I think I'll be happy with 20,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Wow. She gives it to me. It happened again even when um, we were doing Zuba. Mm. Zuba, 60 episodes, season one. Again, I think I got 15,000 kwacha. Season two, because they say, don't know. We you got 15,000 for the whole season? Yeah. Mm. How, wait, wait, wait. How many times are you appearing for that 15,000 kwacha? I don't even know. Malcolm should know. Because me, I was, I, was being, I was being done a favor. I was being done a favor, yeah? I was being done a favor to appear in Zua. Because we told us, hey, look, you guys are from old uh, Cabanana, what, what, what? Yeah. Here we want these guys that are appealing to Zika students, to invest to the, right. uh, the K plus. And so I said, okay, fine. Elson. Elson. Un- Uncle, Elson. Uncle Elson. Be, Uncle Elson. Be proud of your new name, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Be proud. So Uncle Elson. So we are sent to, because they told us, no, yours is actually a small row in the village. Mm. And we went there, good ish, with uh, my sister Barbara. Uh, uh, Barbara plays uh, the mother to, to, to Zuba. We hammered it. And so, season two, when they came with uh, 120 episodes, they asked me how much. I told them, I'll be comfortable with this. And they gave it to me. It was, um, so it was 15,000 the previous season. I added another zero, so I was given 150,000. Right. And then came season three. I said, This is what I want. They said, No. We parted company. The company, uh, Zamez Baji came back and gave him a whole show. My Uncle, own show. Limbani. Uncle Limbani. Uncle yeah. Limbani. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense now. Big time. So I have my own show. And, uh, On Zamez Magic? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah oh, congratulations. Is it, is, it, is it Ed? Of course it has. Yeah. For you, for it's you it's on billboards it. all over, yeah. Word. I think it's like... Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uncle Elson. Yes, sir. What do you watch? Porn. Yeah, I've also been offered porn. But <laughs> no, that I wouldn't watch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how many people would watch that. <laughs> hey! BBW. BBM. <laughs> it's, 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 that's where the XX on the videos come from. Ah, oh, XXX right. videos. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, makes yeah, sense yeah, now. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's been, it's been getting there. We're, we're, we're climbing the ladders. We thank God. And now, Uncle Limbani has been uh, nominated at Africa. Nigeria. Yeah. You, and, you know Coin has been nominated as well. Yeah, He's flying Coin, to Nigeria. Yeah. Coin has got two. Yes, I spoke to him about that. Listen, I said to Coin, listen, let me show you. I said to Coin, there are so many people that have gotten famous, that you've made famous. Correct. And nobody ever knows that this is your work. Exactly. I said this. Kalinga, I want you to pay attention. Put your phone down. I'm, 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 I'm trying to call Coin right now. Oh, Wait, hold it? on, hold on. Before you call him, before yes. you call him, pay attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said in an episode that we had with Mtale mm-hmm. that the the show that Tuvange, yeah. that was Coin's idea. He never took credit for it. Somebody else ran with it, produced it, <laughs> and everybody in the room acted like they were surprised. I'm bringing this up again because Coin does not get credit no. for a lot of the work that he does. King Booga, that's Coin again. Exactly. That's in him. fact, and yeah, he's, he's actually going to yeah. Nigeria yeah. for King, King Booga. Booga. In fact, yeah. hold on. No, I'm about to ruffle feathers. Oh, oh Gila. Sorry. Yeah, 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 I'm about to ruffle feathers. Before King Booga, there's another artist that you know that he pitched the same idea to. Mm, mm, mm. That artist wanted to, but then the wife wanted money. Oh, they, they're actually getting that show now. They were in a meeting yesterday over that same show. I know the one you're talking about. You know the one that I'm talking about, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. But so coin is man. Coin! Yo. You're living your life like it's golden. What's up, bro? I'm good, man. I'm eating chicken. How you doing? Laka. I said to be in Coco Munama. <laughs> You're live on that Z podcast, bro. Oh, what's good? What's poppin'? What's good? We just wanted to give you your flowers over your nominations, bro. Oh. We are we, we, we are with a fellow nominee, Henry B. J. Peary. Do you remember oh, the conversation? <laughs> Point, do you remember the conversation we had over WhatsApp last night? When you were telling me that you got nominated and I was telling you that uh, people do not really give you credit, the credit that you deserve. You remember we had the conversation? I think it was last night or the night yeah. before. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so that, that conversation again just popped up again. <laughs> I think it was Kalinga that brought, well, that brought that up. So 
uh, for as long as I still have breath in my fucking lungs, I'm going to yell and tell people about how much work that you're doing because you do deserve the recognition that you're not getting. Your coin does deserve recognition. Oh, thanks, man. Good job, and congratulations on the nomination, man. Go and kick ass. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Makoro <laughs> 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 talk on the plane. <laughs> yeah, talk on the plane. Nungani za mundeke is a song. Nungani za mundeke. Now, so Coin, what, what's the what's the award and the what, what's the category you're in and for what? Um, there's one for um the TV show we did with with Marky too, best original Bigger. unscripted, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then the other one is for um, original drama series. Mm. For, for which one? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Onjila. Right. Nice one. Talk to you later. Congratulations, my man. I appreciate it. Appreciate Dude, it. we are at Neverett Studio. Are you coming through? I sent you the location earlier. So, so you know what? Instead of going okay. into Jantemba, <laughs> <laughs> instead of going to Jantemba, miss the turn into Jantemba. It's the next one. <laughs> All right, let me send you the li- live location right now. But I can... Talking of uh, the, the 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 yeah these uh, nominations, mm-hmm. guys. Allow me to say this: mm-hmm. economies are driven by numbers. Mm-hmm. Nigeria, and, uh, Nigeria, though. 220, 220 million, million, people. million, and in yeah. Zambia, that's when people like Elson can't. Elson, Uncle Elson, Elson. Uncle Elson. Uncle Elson. Uh, how many kids do you have? One. One that I know yeah. of. You see, that's the thing. So <laughs> we are talking of twenty million people, and of those twenty million, only f- maybe three million are going to vote. Right. And now you're talking about Nigeria. On a bad day, you get forty million votes. So guys, yeah. economies are driven by numbers. We need to get busy, please. Mm. Elson, get okay? busy. Elson, With please. What? You're busy, but you're using condoms, bro. No, 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 it's a good thing. A no, good thing. No, I'm, I'm looking for money. I'm I don't just know. I have no idea. I'm, I'm looking for money. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm just joking. Seriously, it's, 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 it pisses me off with, with 20 million people and you're busy walking around with morning after every day. Come on, guys. Yeah. Get busy, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. How many kids have you got? I've got five. No, but the you know, 18 is on the screen, right? I've got, I've got three kids. And please make and sure. And one on the way. Oh, okay. My three. first, yeah, I've got 18, 12, and 10. Is the 18 year old uh, female male? Female. female. She's in uni. She's on his DP, bro. That's how proud he is of her. Behave. <laughs> I guess I can see the photo. <laughs> should, should I show him? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. What, what do you want to show me? Uh, his DP. No, but, but then he's got, uh, he's, he's got his phone with him. Oh, yeah. She's here. God damn. I, I make these. Does she look like your mom? Like, like, sorry, like her mom, not your mom. That she, look like? <laughs> no, she looks like me, actually. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> I make these. I make these. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like just manufactures yeah, them. Yeah, like he manufactures yeah, yeah, them, right? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. But seriously, we need to work on our population as a country. Wait, yeah. so how do the other two kids feel when 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 she's uh, the only one on the DP? Yeah. Exactly. And she's the only girl. But the, oh no, but I've got my, my other sons. My sons on are, the Android. Oh the Android. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. I love this better. Samsung. Oh, I'm not advertising for them. But I can't get no series of Yami. I'm no, but that, that's that's only one kid. So what is it? Is that, is that the second it's, one? So, no, no, this is the th- the last. That's uh, the last one. So that one comes on. No, what you call it? When does that? That's the other one. So that's the that's the boy. That's that, so that's what, the other boy. Who's that? That's the this second. This is Takondo, second. Uh huh. And then when I open it, I'm doing blah blah blah. I don't know what you. Then Wana comes on as well. This one. That's Wana. But you know, s- they kind of look alike. <coughs> the, the last two look alike. Yes, and then Tukuza. Makeup. You know, these are, this, this is makeup. This is no mm-hmm. makeup. Okay. Ah, girls. Mm. So, so, no, let me, so, let me so just the, hold that. So the last uh, two are on an who, Who's zooming in? No, but why do you wanna, why do you wanna put on no, blast just, like that? Just, just showing. I mean, he's, he's so proud of her. He wants to show oh, her. I love this no, piece. he's not. I'm the one that brought it up. <laughs> he's so proud of her. Speaking of Nigeria, it's, it's though, remember yeah. the, the Dubai thing I've been posting about, yeah? Yeah. So I had a meeting with... Uh, it's gone off. The screen has gone off. All oh, right. There we go. I was talking to people from Dubai mm-hmm. and Nigeria oh, yesterday about the... Of Dubai people. I know. Levels, baby. You should put that in your CV. I, dude, too late. So we're talking about uh, celebrities that they're taking to Nigeria for the Visit Dubai campaign, yeah? Hmm. And we're talking about uh, the, the people in Dubai. Yeah. Your numbers, Zambia. Exactly. Numbers. Your numbers. I was like, our biggest celebrity in Zambia has like, what, one point something million Facebook followers. followers. And we're so proud of that. Mutalemwanza just got to a million and we celebrated that mm, big time. And sure. I'm like, one million only. Tier one. My guy. Because I've got four tiers for the people they're working with for the mm. Visit Dubai campaign, yeah? It's four, three, two, one. 
it starts from 40 million. <laughs> How many? 40, 40 million. million. Four zero. Yeah. You have to have 40 million followers for them to even consider that's, you a celebrity. That's, that's, so that's, Zambia is nothing. It, we are nothing. Exactly. exactly. Imagine that. Exactly. Because because even sales, if, if, if on a bad day, if Futukana was to sell in uh, in Nigeria, on a bad day, you'll sell to 40 million uh, customers. Exactly. And so you can even afford to reduce it because you're enjoying the economies of scale. But then if you're in Zambia and you're only selling to 300 people per day. Yeah. But then that's but then that's bullshit because mm. you can you can buy followers. You know that, right? Oh yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, again. but but Nigerians can have genuine followers because of the no, population. I hear that. But and, I'm and saying, remember that Nigerians have fans all over Africa. No, in I'm, Zambia, I'm, not Zambia dis- I'm not disputing that, but I'm saying yeah. they, they are the scale that they use to measure popularity is yeah, skewed true. because yeah. even Ebro. No, no, but you see, when Ebro you when you when you buy uh, followers, mm. they know they're fake by how many people are commenting and liking your post. Once again, it goes to engagement because yeah. take a look at Mtalem Wansa. She's got over a million, but if she posts it's something, it's four, maybe five thousand. Four five thousand. Yeah. So again, ah. that doesn't really. Go to yeah, true, so that, true. that's not really well, all I'm saying accurate. is we don't have numbers as Zambians. We need numbers, yeah. please. I wish the government can ban um, things like I know human rights come, but we don't need the morning after. We don't, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> pushumura, pushumura, <laughs> no, come on, yeah. no, no, yeah. we, we need we need them. Ah, come on, we need them. you know what? No, because there are people who are having sex but can't afford children. So, do you want, no, do you want a child it. growing up in poverty? Wank, nigga. <laughs> Because <laughs> you know what, when we when, when, when we started Zambia, your, your ring is falling off, dude. Is is your finger that I've lost now? weight? I've lost weight. Wow! <laughs> no, you're lying. You're lying. <laughs> it can't fit anymore. But I've lost weight. I'm Wait, sagging. Pull your ring, I'm pull sagging your, my pull ring. Your ring back I'm to that. Sagging it. <laughs> sagging my ring. Zambia, Uganda, Kenya at the, at the independence, we're all talking of three million plus. Yeah. But today, Uganda is at forty nine. Is it? Kenya yeah. fifty something million, yeah. and we are still using. Come on, 20 million. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Economies are driven by numbers. We need the numbers. What do you think people are going to attack you the most on when it comes to the roast? Your roast. My roast. Of mm. course, the weight is an issue, of course. And, um, yeah, because uh, like, like I said earlier, our this, this day and age, people are very sensitive. So if I even, if even, if even talk about your weight, because I mean, from the time I met you and now, exactly. a lot has changed, A bro. lot, a lot. A lot. Yeah. And, and you know what, Kelly? Um, it's funny, I hear this a lot. Like, I'll uh, be picking my son or anywhere. And then some people, yeah, what you want, H? <laughs> you know, people are very insistent. Eh? Mm-hmm. People say, yeah, yeah, China, China, H. And you think, uh, trying so, to keep people more sensitive. No, no, no. And so now, uh, it, for me, it's just, and there are people who just come to me like, 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 um, mm-hmm. what's his name? Sunny FM, what's his name? Kabosue, 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 Kabosue. Kabosue's son. Yeah, Kabosue's son FM, yeah, CEO. Son. Yeah. yeah. We're on the, we're, we're, we're apparently on the same flight to Ndola. Mm. And so I was sitting on that. Ah, you. What are you saying? Chief from which? See, no one can flip. What are you saying? Chief from I can't go. You know. And and so, do 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 you now book two seats on a flight? No, my favorite seat is the one near the exit. The the fire the images one. Yeah, of course. There's a lot, lot of leg room. Leg room. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, plenty. But of then room. I have to ask for extra belt. Mm, oh wow! I have to ask for extra belt. But you know, what? like the ones that are pregnant women yeah. and. As for yeah. it. Tell you what, my wife is very spiritual actually. And uh, mm. so I think this is as a result of our spiritual what? Because, you know, my, our last born is 10 years. And so every time I'd like to like have, I, I believe in population. Like every time I'd want to have a, uh, another child. Uh, look who's here. Look, coin. Coin. Ah, coin. Coin, 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 coin. One, well, 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 golden. <laughs> yeah, yeah call him by his government name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> golden. golden. So, uh, so, I normally look at the stats. Yeah. Uh, I'm a nerd like that. Mm. And I've noticed that um, the attention span for most people is normally at 30 or 40 minutes. Yeah. So before we forget, this coming weekend, you and I are going to be in Livingston. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to be in Livingston. Are you guys? Yeah. 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 We're going to yes. be in Livingston. Yeah. We're gonna be in Livingston uh, living our life like it's golden. Punchline. Uh, we are going for the carnival. Oh, are you? Uh, yes. Destination Livingston. De- yep. So, so every single one of the artists that are performing at the carnival on the Zim side, uh, we've managed to get them onto the Zambian side in, uh, in at Radisson. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna be huge, bro. So, unfortunately, CK. we traveling. We traveled. We are going to to boats. We're attending the Mighty Song Festival. Word. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. So we come back on the second, just in time to 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 leave for Nigeria. Wait, are we, are we going to Livingston together? Are you going to Livingston? Did you get a visa from your wife? 
He's, he's taking her to Nigeria. I think right now you Are just, you going with your wife to Nigeria? Yeah, he's taking her to Nigeria. Oh, ah, that's yeah. dope. That's dope. You can actually get any visa right Coin, now, Coin, stop doing that. You know, you get me in trouble. Because now I'll be like, hey, Coin is getting... No, Coin, oh, yeah, no. no. They're not going no, with your wife. No, 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 no. No, no. no Coin, no. No, no. No. You, 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 you want to read some of the um, some of the stuff Uvusi sent to us? Um, Concerning Livingston. How much the tickets are? Uh, Riders and rooms? Um, Ooh, who's going to be performing? So you guys are the Ratson. How is it? Uh... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll be there again next to week. Be, when I went there, I'm mm. gonna be honest. Mm. Uh, well, they're just uh, opening. Yeah, they are. They are partners. So I went there the the, the month after they opened. Mm. The food was horrible. Oh, uh-huh. the rooms were beautiful. Were fantastic. Mm. Um, you cannot take a girl there and not get laid. Basically, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. But then the, I hope they improved on the food. Uh, they were an amazing um, boat. Can I call it a boat? Is it a yeah, boat? it is. It is. Yeah, it is. that amazing fucking boat. Far from being a yacht, so it is a boat. Yeah. <laughs> can, um, I, can, I, can I just read this before we <laughs> yes, lose time? Yeah. So this, this, these are the notes I'm reading here, right? <laughs> it's these. No, man. Just go to the messages. Can I read what he he put yeah, up sure, for Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right, cool. So we, 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 Elson and I are going to Livingston for. Uh, we're, we're going with an organization called Culture Exchange. Awesome. And there's going to be a brunch, mm-hmm. okay, at Radisson Blue Hotel. So there's going to be CK from Nigeria. There's uh, mm. podcast and show. Like she mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Soul will be there. Mm. Um, Mikasa. Mikasa is Mikasa. going to be there. Market 2, Slab D, Toila. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So let me just read this real quick. Culture Exchange will be hosting an exclusive red carpet style poolside brunch on the Sunday. Why is he saying on the Sunday? For all VIP ticket holders and Just Radisson like you Blue- say on the copper belt. Yeah. <laughs> For all VIP ticket holders and Redison Blue package holders on the Sunday, 30th April from 11 a.m. So experience sharing the poolside on the Zambezi River with international headliners, a culinary experience created by the world-renowned Rooftop Barbecue, unfiltered conversations and live recording with Elson and K+. They forgot to add the uncle. Uncle Elson. Sorry. Uncle. Disrespectful. Uncle. Representing Zambia's biggest podcast, That's It Podcast, and a musical journey by Culture Exchange headliners and Zambia's finest with some international flair added to the mix. Wow. So we're going to be there. Wow. Uh, wow. There's what? prices of tickets there, dude. Go into the chat, into the group. Right. Okay. Um, mm. I don't know where So what's with the uh, uncle? When did you attend this uncleship? When I went to Australia. Uh-huh. Yeah. Some, some and- hint. Kath- don't, don't be disrespectful. Aria Ka- and Ka- Kathy's kids. Mm-hmm. Kathy's kids. They, I know Kathy's they, watching they this. Me, they call me Uncle Elson. Okay. And every single time that they addressed me. Yeah, let me. Let me show you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, let me show yeah, you. Yeah, he shows everyone on every episode. Yes. I don't know why I haven't shown you. <laughs> so, 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 yeah, so let me show you. Uh, as you do that, events tickets, general, 795 kwacha, VIP, 2,495. Reds and blue VIP accommodation, sharing from $495 per person. Single from six ninety five dollars. I don't know why they charge per person in a hotel room. Right <laughs> it's the food and the tear and wear of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> wear and tear of the bed. <laughs> ah! uh, Avani VIP accommodation. Single from eleven thousand. Qua- uh, I should I should be marketing this properly. From eleven thousand kwacha, double from fourteen thousand kwacha for two. <laughs> Awesome, 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 awesome. I, I think uh, there's so many people call me uncle, but I'd love those guys to qualify me as right? uncle. Yeah, yeah. You should, you should send me that. I'll get yeah. the audio off no, it so we can that. plug so, it into so this. So where did you get your uncleship from? From the Institute of <laughs> Aryan Haven, the the Perth, inst- the Australian Perth <laughs> Institute of, of Aryan Haven. Uh, exactly. Is Haven or Heaven? Haven. Awesome. Haven. Awesome. Like H A V E N. If if you have not been right. uh, if you have not been uh, qualified by this guy, you are just an. Uh, that's, that's the only stamp of approval. Like, like, you that's need. the only stamp of approval. Exactly. That's 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 only, yeah. If you are. Caught. Oh, they were. Wait, hold on. Uh, check this out. They they were. I don't know if you saw this. They um they sing our theme song. Mm. Oh yeah. Wait, yeah. Wait, listen to this. Our very catchy hold theme song. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing have you always been E-Mark. an entertainer yeah go ahead go ahead oh Imak yeah oh you mm-hmm. know Imak yeah, yeah he's in my neighborhood he's what? a good guy oh yeah he's oh Silverist Silverist yeah, yeah, yeah. he's a good guy he's, oh you're in Silverist yeah I'm in Silverist okay yeah. we've not spoken about your beginnings bro my beginnings are humble really yeah, yeah. Uh, everybody says that ah not mine are they really even, <laughs> Bill, even Bill Gates yeah even Mark guy. Zuckerberg, the rich kids. Yeah, the only person thing. who actually say that their 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 beginnings were not humble was uh, was Dave Chappelle. Imak, we're shooting a podcast. We've got we've got BJ. We're shooting a podcast right now. Say what's up, BJ. 
Hi, hi, Imak. How are you? Good, thanks. And you? I'm fine, thanks. Are you back? Nice. Which DJ is this? BJ. BJ. BJ, BJ Blow job. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> BJ, BJ, BJ. Henry BJ Peary. BJ, how are you? I'm okay, thanks. Are you back? Nice. Yes, I'm around. Okay. okay. Where do you go? Dubai. He was away. Yeah, I think uh, he no, 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 some time I off. I was in Dubai. I was just somewhere else. This guy goes to Dubai like you it's and I go to the bathroom, bro. Exactly. Yeah. I remember the time that I was coming from Australia and just randomly he walks onto the plane. Mafia. Wow. <laughs> he wow, says I've wow. become the gold mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll call you in the next hour. Like 30 minutes will be done. Good. Is no. there is there anything that you want to plug from Emark while you're on? Because you're on speaker right now. Like what, what did you bring from Dubai, bro? Uh, uh, no, I wasn't in Dubai. What? This time around I wasn't. But, but why didn't you want to say where you had gone to? Is this so much of a secret? It, no, it was something personal. Oh, yeah. What's her name? Holiday. What's her name? <laughs> you guys are me. <laughs> no female involved, bro. What's his Uh-oh. name? Tidin, 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 Fourteen boys, yeah, that's a, uh, that's. But it's a, it's something that I look back and enjoy. You don't have any sister. I have, and the sisters also. Well, they'll be like, I don't know how many of them in their room. Like, like oh, no. so your parents had total of how many kids? No, but you know where we're growing up, yeah. we had um, uh, what we call cousins now. Oh right, yeah, right, right. You know, right. my mother would literally go to to to, to Z, is it ZCBC? Those used to, used to be a shop called yeah. ZCBC, yeah. and buy boys pants, fourteen boys pants, <laughs> and just throw them on the bed. <laughs> It, uh, uh, don't, don't be the fancy to say I'll pick a green one or pick a, so the idea is just pick a pant <laughs> and then you ended up with a big big pant yeah and uh, because we had uh, bo- big boys small boys so you have a big pant yeah and um, now you have to tie it around so why am I going to last you why am I going to last you cook and you want to come on to my indicator Honda you know <laughs> so but assembly, you know, remember, hey, ah. shows that shows that <laughs> If you are careless, you have to because a pant would last like you'd have a pant for a year. One pant for a year. Yeah. Ah. Not our father, no, my books are five, yeah. six, seven, ten. No, one. Um, so I don't know what happened that day. I was excited and I goes, hey, I'm sure doesn't. I just went first and then my it last ticket, but I do. Okay. <laughs> the next thing I saw, the whole hip. You go in. I lifted it. If it was Borat, yeah, it has. yeah, that's how I wore it. You know, <laughs> went and, and pulled it over my shoulders like, a, yeah. And you should have seen how I was walking because it was like a g-string. Yeah, ah, so a wedgie. It was everything. Uh, I don't know why you. I don't want to have that image in my head. I don't know why you keep it. To, keep it. But no, 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 no. But no, but on the tiny side, like I was tiny. Yeah. Yo. And then and then these. Uh, no, it was rough. It was rough. We need to have this guy as a third fixture of this podcast. I think. Oh, I'll be greatly honored. <laughs> I'll be greatly honored. We can't when we have him. the president on, we need to have you on. Okay. I we, was speaking to Jito. We yeah. might have Jito for the next episode. Ah, awesome. you know Jito, right? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. we might have. We, we had breakfast this morning. Uh, pretty interesting, dude. No, but Very. Jito wants to record on Sunday. Is it possible? Uh, afternoon. Afternoon. Yeah. yeah. It's possible, Mrs. Katambo. It's possible. We have to go can through. We, can we sing as here? <laughs> See, you got you got your visa there, Nerbit. Uh, yeah. We are also taking Nerbit to Livingston. Is that okay, madam? Yeah. It's okay? Oh, no, she says, we're, we're actually getting a visa, Nerbit and I, from her. And she says- well, How are you getting a visa from her? I was with him that night when we we're getting a visa, when we got the official notification from Vusi. Okay. So I was with uh, Nerbit and we asked her, are you joining us? She says, no. Are you taking your wife? I haven't. Why, why are you looking at them? <laughs> We haven't had this it's a discussion in depth. Are you taking she, your she wife? She wants to come, but I don't want to carry her. So. Why? Huh? Why? Um, uh-huh. Coin. Coin knows ah, 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 ah. Leave <laughs> Coin out of this. <laughs> nah, it's what, a, what, it's what, a straight what, question. We're carrying her. We're going with her. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Guys, what, what, you're putting me on the spot here. Oh, no, but we are going with her. We are going with her. Are but, you sure? Yeah. Very sure. Should I call hey, her? But, no. okay, but you really have to be careful. I had a friend who too. Gentlemen, I'm going with my wife. Okay. Should I call her? No. Have you ever slept out like... Gentlemen, you, I'm going with okay. my wife. You go with your wife to yeah. a holiday like that one or to that gig, to a gig like that one and then you forget that you came with your wife <laughs> and you sleep out. You book it all. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Oh, shit. Uh, uh, wait, has that happened to you before? No, 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 no. <laughs> yes, it no, has. No, because I never yes, take my wife out to such a say how quickly is it? Because mm. <laughs> I don't take my wife out. Okay, no. Wait, let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this story. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I forgot who told me this story. It must have been you, or it must have been some dude. Is it a good or bad story? It's a funny story. It wasn't okay. me. So, so this, so this dude. Yeah. Um, he he goes to a party. It's a house party. Mm. So it's with a chick. Um, they're drinking. They're doing whatever they're doing. And the chick wants to sleep. So she goes to his car and then sleeps in his car. Right? Yeah. She goes in the back seat because there's yeah. no space there. Yeah. So she goes and she passes out. Now this guy's been drinking the whole night. Yeah. This guy's now peace drunk. Right. But then he remembers, ah, listen, I, I've been with the chick. They look mm-hmm. for the chick. They can't find the chick. I was like, you know what? That's it. Whatever. Mm. This is a house anyway. So even mm. if she's passed out somewhere, I'll still find her tomorrow. Mm. Gets in his car, drives home. <laughs> Gets home, packs the car, <laughs> locks the car. <laughs> he goes home and he sleeps. Uh, so that was on a Saturday. The, the, following, the following morning is a Sunday, Sunday morning. Sunday morning. <laughs> so it's a Sunday, and the madam wants to go to church. <laughs> Demon is right in the head. Holy <laughs> Ghost fire. <laughs> How do you explain that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> My guy. Ah, bro. Ah. Listen, your ancestors would have forsaken you then. <laughs> a similar story. So the guy goes to a wedding with a wife and he gets a first few drinks. And you know, he just arrived at the wedding, his family. Hey, long time, have you been long? And the wife is like, So you want to greet everybody here? <laughs> okay, so he sits down. He's just gotten his few drinks. You know how erratic they are at, the, at, the, at such functions yeah, where yeah. it takes an hour before you get another round. So the guy gets extra drinks and puts on the table. And the wife is like, So you want everybody to know that you're drinking? <laughs> you know what? I'm leaving. And they just go to the bar. So they say, You know what? Look, let's go. So they drive home. And uh, you know you, where you live near these bars, like a master arrangement. And so, so the guy says, Look, can I just get a drink before you go home? Because home is just behind. Mm. Okay. The wife says, and there are cabs, you know, you just squeeze between two, uh, a couple of cabs. Yeah. So, that says, no, <clears throat> you'll find me home. I saw the guy out of, like, pissed off, just leaves the car uh, running and uh, doors open. He goes to to get his drink, comes back. Madame is not in the car. He drives over and he's, he's like, ah, you know what? I don't want to go home and quarrel. Let me see my chick. <laughs> so, he calls the side chick. Side chick is like, oh, I'm home, come. So, he drives to the side chick's place. Oh, he hoots. Sachi comes out, ready. <coughs> and then Madame, all this time Madame was sleeping, was in, sleeping the in the <laughs> Oh, ho! <laughs> the guy takes off. And he remembers that Siavana Wavi Nook. Women, This women. is the quickest way to lose your life. Yeah, hey, big time. Yeah. Big time, big time. So I'm going with my wife to living. How long have you been married? I've been married for the past 19 years continuously. Wow. Are you going to ask me that question usually? Ask <laughs> what do I ask you? What, happily? On purpose. I said, I've been married to her con- Listen, if she's continuously. Been, if she's been with him and he looks like this now. <laughs> and, and you know, but let me tell fun. you something. Let me tell you something, yeah. BJ, is jokes get you girls. I've always, if you're funny, ah, you, you will yeah, get the yeah, yeah. flyest chicks. I've seen guys spend rent money on girls in a club. <laughs> and I'm like, do you know you can get the same chick just if by making a laugh? Like a joke. Yeah, just yeah, by yeah. making a laugh. And yeah. she'll spend on you. Yeah? Yeah. I'm starting. <clears throat> I'm starting. We like how humble is that, you are. Is that how you got your, your, your wife? Yeah, because you know. Or jokes, right? Yeah, I think so. Because I came from Matero and uh-huh. she was living in Rotspark. There you and go. I'm thinking, <laughs> how did she land on me? Because, yeah. And uh, and and then, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to get me a chick from suburbs. Mm. And I'm coming from Matero. And I'm thinking, okay, so her dad and what? Mm. So, mm. you know, like uh, a planned move, like mm. at least. And then I hear them now. Uh, on, on the wedding day and they're uh, saying well you number know, hey, we saw a hey, look and they're referring her back to me like I should text taking her care of her you're now the father and oh, the mother no. to them because man I, I was so sure I'm sure the big man's going die the Land Rover <laughs> you're going to inherit it yeah, exactly <laughs> yeah, I, I realized you, something yeah, I've always said you, you ha ha your way into her pants exactly and so for me, you're talking about the weight uh, earlier on. So I'm thinking every time she goes, she's so spiritual, you know. Yeah. So every time I want to get her <clears throat> pregos, she goes like back to sender. It comes back. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how I end up with, you know. 
And yeah, thank God um, we're expecting our fourth. Congratulations. Wow. Yeah, August, uh, hopefully. And about the same time, we'll be doing the roast. Do you know if he's, do you know the gender it's a boy. yet? It's a boy. It's a boy, yes. So now you have got two boys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have three boys. Wait, you mentioned there's 14 boys in the house. How many of those were actually your, your sibling siblings? Siblings, uh, there's like uh, siblings, because we are born six of us. Right. Uh, we're born six of us and um, the rest were, yeah. <laughs> And and so I have oh. ta- the, this one we've already named them. We've already right. named, named the baby that's coming. It's right. gonna be called Watatu. What? Watatu. The hell is that's that? like three. Yeah, three. Yeah. So my firstborn is uh, Tukuza, mm-hmm. then Takondwa, then Wana. So Watatu is the names the uh, the first two letters of the three. So not right. Really, it doesn't no, make no. sense because there are three before three, him. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Watatu. Mm-hmm. And Who's you, your favorite? My favorite kid? Mm-hmm. The <sighs> fact that you've thought about it. No, the I'm fact, actually thinking this. Fact, is that yeah, yeah. your favorite? The, yeah, the one on your iPhone. No, they're, they're both, they're all here. The three, the three of them are all here. It's just, it's just that it doesn't give me spirit. BJ, who's your favorite? No, I love them both. I mean, no, both. I love them all. I love them all. <laughs> there's an, out, there's all. an outcast. No, no, no. Outcast. <laughs> Trust me, I love my kids. They are unique in their own way. And uh, a, a few weeks ago, I had a, uh, problems with my last one. Uh, so I'm asking him, like, honestly, of all the, I've done everything for you. And why would you do what you did? Then says, blankly, so and says, bluntly and puts it to me, says, you gave me the phone too early. Wow. Wow. I'm like, so, okay, fine. So we withdraw the phone and then what else? How old is he? He's turning 10 on the 27th of uh, April. When did you give it, when did you get him a phone? We got him the phone. Uh, probably I think he must have been 6 or 7. Yeah, my son is 6 and he's got a phone. Yeah. But you have to watch My do you daughters see what, have tablets. So Yeah. yeah. Should yeah. I take them away? No, 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 but just watch what they do the, what they're seeing and what they're well, downloading. What, all my all my kids do is just draw, make drawings on their tablets, so. That's what you might be thinking. That's what you think. Oh, that's what you hope. Mm. Well, that's, that's what, that's what I see. We froze when we saw what. Oh, well, you're not there right now, are mm. you? Yeah. Yeah, because. Um, yeah. So, so I asked him, so what else? What else have I, have I done wrong? That. <clears throat> mm. What else have I done wrong? He says, yeah, by the way, why did we stop the family Bible study? Like, okay, that comes back. Then what else? He says, um, I think these things are getting me too much attention at school. What, dreadlocks? Yeah, dreadlocks. So, no, but. And so, yeah. <laughs> He's got dreadlocks. Hey, but you know what? There was one thing I like to. So I was asking him. So how many? Uh, do you have? Do you have a girlfriend? He says, "Yeah, okay." Um, Ten. Wow. Uh, so, how? how uh, you asked him if he's got a girlfriend. Yeah. And he do you said have a what? girlfriend? He says, "Yeah." I said, and I'm like, "Oh, okay." Uh, how does she look? He says, "Okay." So uh, this one looks like this. He's just counting them. He's. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, then I said, "Yeah." And he's wow. his jeans. He's his jeans favorite. He's his uh, jeans favorite. <laughs> now you understand. He's his jeans favorite. I see why. Yeah. I see so why. He's his yeah. jeans favorite nephew. And uh, oh yeah, by the way, do you know I do that show Masuzio Moche? I have no. a page called Masuzio Moche Punka Story. So right. Masuzio to get your phone is <laughs> Masuzio is, is, is his jeans son. Oh we, yeah. yeah okay. You know, because I call Eugene Mas Chikondi. Chikondi is the only yeah. child I know. So no, he's got uh, yeah, two more. He's got Chikondi. He's got uh, ish the girl. He's got one girl. Masuzio. And, no, no, no. Mm. He's got one girl and um, three three boys. Chikondi, Wakata, and uh, the latest edition was about a year now. Do you have any patience in your family? What do you mean with pa- patience? Patience. A person called patience? Yeah, patience. Uh, a person called patience, yeah. You know, family? Mm. Mm-mm. Well, yeah, Piri. Every patience I know is Piri. You notice know that, Golden? Oh, yeah. Every patience I know is a patience, Piri. It's oh, like, yeah, it's, it's close, close, close to you. Dude, did you, did you read out the... Um, the tickets, the ticket prices. Mm. Mm. Did you? Nine ninety five, right? Yeah, yes. nine, yeah, for general and uh, yeah. two four nine five for VIP. Yeah. And uh, right, oh yeah, you, you also read out the the riders and raids. Oh, that's the why you were saying um, is it fourteen thousand? Yeah, for two. That's why you were saying why do they? No, but that's a vani, bro. That's a vani. Yeah, that's why you were saying why do they charge per person? Yeah. Yeah. So you were saying we're in tear of both sides of the bed. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. we, we're wait, in Livingston wait, wait. this weekend. Join oh, us in Livingston this weekend. Let me tell you. Let me tell you the funniest. The whole long weekend we've been living. Let, let me tell you yeah. the wow. funniest shit ever. You you see how they say per person sharing or yeah. they charge you per person. You mm-hmm. know Lake Caribbean Inn mm-hmm. has got a room that takes up to three people. I like how they're thinking. 
I do too. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, no. But then there could be three beds. We need to investigate. One bed. You don't say. I promise you. Well, maybe it's for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I said it. Quick <laughs> 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 <Keep> thinking. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah. You need to yeah. Yeah. Back to your humble beginnings. So there's 14 of you guys in the house. But you know what? We've digressed, yo. Hey. Yeah, so <laughs> well, we've been all over the place. Yeah. You grew up not in Mosa. Oh, you said Matero. Mtende. No, no, no. Matero is after after uni, but um tra- you know what? I've been to 13 schools. The fuck? How many Can expulsions? In, in, ah, in none. And you just landed in most of the trouble. So why did you keep moving? Yeah, so my father was a vet. My father was a vet. And uh, so I'd been in Northwest. And that's why it's strange. Somebody says, oh, I was with him at Kablonga Boys. And we're like, no, he went to Monali. <laughs> no, no, no. I was, with, I was with him at Chasa. No, no, no. I know him from Nimba. No, no, no. I know him from Celeste Kenico. No, no. So everybody was like, no. So I'm uh, in almost wow. all the alumni groups. I mean, all of them. I'm like, hi, guys. So, you you know, are like in 13 school groups. groups. School groups, yeah. So that's me. And um, <laughs> Wow. So, born in Zambezi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I, I ah, yeah. Yo. So that's uh, <laughs> and I was shocked to know that my daughter went to Lisef, and from Lisef went to Chipembe Girls, and that's it. And then two schools. Need, two schools. Who does that? <laughs> there are so many schools you can be. Wait. You, so what does your dad being a vet have to do with how many schools so you went to? Back in the day, they'd yeah. be like, 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 like. Oh, there's an outbreak because there's a vet. There'll be an outbreak in, um, in Chavuma, so we shift to Chavuma. Yeah, and, I'm have to, do this I, and then I have to, I have to, I have to join the school there. Yeah? I have to start at uh, Liovo Primary School. <gasps> then I have to go to some basic. He's he's transfer wow. because there are outbreaks. You know, there are very few vets then. <laughs> Yeah, so wow. yeah, I went to so many schools. Um, so I'm on almost, I'm at the Kablonga, ex Kablonga boys uh, group. Yeah. Uh, Kiawama, Sotek. I was, at, I was at Sotek as well. You went to Sotek? Yeah. Oh, I, I was did, at Sotek did, did 1992. You grade 10 to 12, yeah. Did you finish? Oh, I finished. Sotek? Oh, wow. Yeah. 1992, yeah? I was at Sotek 1992. No, I was there 10 years after you. Is it? Yeah. It's still there. 10 years yeah. after him. Mm. So the you're older than him. is shitty. Oh, right now, it's shame. terrible. We used to have it, a beautiful terrible. orchard. Yeah, you know, the orchard is still there, but yeah. the school's just terrible. The, the dormitories, I don't know about oh. now, but I went there about two, three years ago. Toilets mm. hardly work, so people have to oh. go into bushes to relieve themselves. It's oh, terrible. Shame, the school is so shame, dilapidated. Shame. So, so what can we do about it? It's a government school, yeah. It's a government. It's a, it's yeah, a, no. So let's take any secondary school. Beautiful school. What can we do it about it as, as former students? Yeah? As alumni. So you, uh, you were there for what, six months? Yeah, a couple of months, actually. Then I moved to Kablonga Boys. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the J- Zambia Air Force uh, commander. Mm. The father was uh, used to uh, offer TD, technical drawing. Right. Mm. Yeah, mm. I used to do TD as well. Mm-hmm. Now the school is dilapidated. Oh, shame. It's terrible. It's I almost th- every school. Because I, I go to Kablonga, it's the same story. I go to yeah. Kablonga, it's no longer the same. I go to. We need to bring this up with Jito on the next episode. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> most likely Sunday. School. What, hmm? yeah. what, what, do what, do what do you buy your, your gadgets from outside Zambia? So we are on the school. Where do you, where, where do you buy your, your gadgets from? Uh, so most of these are gifts. Uh, trust me. From like, your wife? Yeah. Like this one, that mm. I was bought, uh, my wife bought for the, uh, this for me because they told me it's a status symbol. Mm. Oh, the iPhone. This yeah. is what, 13? Is that the 13? 13 Pro, Max, and Pro, Chan, but I don't, I, I, half the times I delete most of the things not knowing because I'm trying to go through it. And mm. yeah, yeah. But my this one, this one was a, a gift from my friends at um, Mobile City. Right. You, you, you know, should so try right so you're price. Not a, yeah, that's why I'm asking. Yeah. You're not a gadget person? <laughs> no. Try right price. Where are they? Where so are they not? You, you, you know what you can do with your iPhone 13 Pro. You Ooh. can take it in and he'll give you an iPhone 14. Ah, no, we can do... Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. I wish I could do that with the vehicles in Zambia. Or wives. You can do... It. <laughs> <laughs> now that you've gone too far now. You know, you've yeah, gone too far. Because <laughs> talking of wives, yeah. if God was still using that same theory of... Of the rib. Yeah, the rib. Some of, peop- some of the people I know would have been, by now, they'd be, they'd be using support because mm-hmm. they would have all given the ribs all the ribs. Like mm. a God... <laughs> Yeah, is that Irish? But Good. imagine, but imagine if you could trade your wife in, right? <laughs> like swap and talk. <laughs> no, but on a serious note, you can actually swap yes, in your it. iPhone 13 for an iPhone 14. Or, yeah, he can buy that from you. Give you cash right or, now. Yeah. You can or, tell him that I want a brand new iPhone 14. You give him cho- this and, top and top up, up yeah. very little, very very little. I took yeah. um Where this guy. They? So, so there's at arcades. Uh, there's one Levy, at arcades. Levy more there's one well. at Levy as Is well. It? Yeah, I think North This as well. dude here yeah. made me buy an Apple A mm. from 
<laughs> one of these computer stores around town. Uh, yeah. And I feel out of love with it after six months. So mm. then I bought a second laptop. Mm. So now I'm stuck with two laptops. Mm-hmm. So just recently, was it two days ago? Yeah. I took the, the, the MacBook to him. And your PlayStation And my PlayStation yeah. 3. So he said for the PS, if mm. you want to trade it in for a PS4, mm. you can. For the MacBook, if you want to trade it in for... So, it, you know, it's amazing how... Oh, so my kids with, have, with shit that you, you have and you just look at... Like yeah. my PlayStation, I got a dust, It's actually bro. valuable yeah, the to him. Actually, there's yeah. a three at home, there's a four, because now they have a You five. can take it in for a brand new one. For a brand new one. Right price. So I took my old Mac Mini... 2014. And right now he's using the latest one. I'm using the latest Mac Mini. And all wow. I had to, and the latest Mac Mini is like almost 15, 16,000 kwacha. Wow. So I took my own one in and all I had to show up was like a 2,000 kwacha. That's, Look that's, at that's, that's, that's And cool. I'm upgraded. That's cool. Yeah. If you see, I don't, did you see my PS3, how dusty it was looking? Yeah. I'm surprised. By I think the time it still that works. I went back to pick up a speaker, yeah. he had already loaded games into it. Because it's still working perfectly. Wow. I'm surprised. Yeah, because I, I think the kids have packed the three and the four and they're actually thinking of donating you them to some... Yeah. Do, take it to right price Take now. it to him. His name I'm is Francis. Him. Yeah. You give me his number and I'm on, uh, on my way. I will. Hello. Tell him you got it from uh, Uncle Elson and Kalenga. Uncle Elson. I remember so, that. So, yeah. after high school, what happens in your life? You so got after, fat? <laughs> yeah. After high school... Um, uh, oh yeah, of course. After high school, I did a stint at uh, Evening Honors. I was waiting to <laughs> go to uni. <laughs> and a stint at Evening Home like Porridge. Like you just went to get a Wi-Fi password uh, and left. <laughs> <laughs> at Evening Home Porridge. <laughs> yeah, so I did the stint there. And then... Oh, what, what did you study there? Aha. Uh-huh. I have a diploma in computing information systems I'm from, from, good now. from uh, Evening Home, which I've never used it to. Your IT... Yeah, never. You did IT? I did IT. And oh, what I, in IT did you do, bro? I did programming. I did... Uh, Let me I tell did, you something. Mm. Yeah. I did programming too. Mm-hmm. Do you know how much money you are missing out on? I can assure you. I used to do Java, Visual Basic. Uh, I, I which, which VB did you do? Net or, or six? I think what's I mean, six. Uh, like six I'm is the you, old one. Because uh, now there's Net, right? Yeah, he's yeah. old. He's old. Yeah, I'm telling I did this one. When was that? 90... F- wow. You did Java? Mm. The Java, yeah, Java. I did Java, I did Visual Basic, C++, and that programming. And, and I'm telling you, I've never used any of those things. Bruh. And had distinctions. Wow. But I never used any of those things. Up to now, I don't even know. The, the thing I know about computer now is... If you can refresh your courses, the amount of money that you can make right now, dude. Tell you what. Um, so I've always wanted to do business studies. Mm. And so I, meet in, I bump into this gentleman from Zimbabwe, uh, Jonathan Chanabengira. And we become friends, and he's like, "Hey, look, you look like a sharp young man. What's up? Can I? Well, how come you're not in? Co- you, you, you're not in university or uh, the usual stuff? Mm. No money. So he says, you know what? Find um, find something to do. I'll, I'll help you out. So I go to Zamim because Zamim was offering marketing, and um, they are just closed. <coughs> so I get into Evelyn Horn where they were offering the computer studies. Mm. Right. So I enroll and I do a whole diploma sponsored by Jonathan mm. Chanda Bengera, and um. I still, the, the, the closest I ever came to using it was at the Electoral Commission of Zambia, compiling election results or wow, something like that. Wow, bro. Mm. Yeah. And from there, my passion has always been marketing. So when the opportunity came, I did CIM, mm. Channel Digital Marketing uh, UK. Then I did um, uh, my first degree with, um, uh, what are they called? The, the University of Zambia. Right. Then I did another one with um, Zikas. Then I did my, 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 my other degree with, uh, what, what does it sound like you also went to 13 universities? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know, it, it's like building. They are very addictive, these degrees, eh? Yeah, they are. And it's so, right. yeah. They're kind and of like tattoos. Are once they? You, yeah, yeah. Once you get one, you want to um, keep getting more. You know, more. it's one thing I've not done, eh? Tattoos? Mm. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but I want one no, you've like You've got a lot of real estate. I think you, so. You can, yeah. But they're afraid of because... You, you know what he calls himself? Mm. A walking billboard. Walking billboard. Put an advert here. here. Yeah, you are hard to miss. Yeah, yeah, because... <laughs> you know, speaking of IT and programming, mm. if any of your kids want to do that, I would 100% tell you to support that. I know a guy, you know the guy, I'm not going to mention his name. Right. This guy here gets contract <clears throat> minimum of 30 million kwacha, right? To build software infrastructures for banks and government institutions. He has got only four programmers. The highest paid programmer is getting 15,000. How much money you got for Zuba? And he has got a chain of these contracts, bro. Right. And he knows nothing about programming. Nothing about what? Yeah. Kind of like Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Yeah. You know Steve Jobs, all he could do was talk. 
the the, yeah, the, 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 the person, ideas guy, the yeah. ideas yeah. guy, the person behind putting everything to life was was Wozniak. Wozniak, yeah. Yes. So Steve Jobs would go out there and he had the charm. He would talk and you do A, B, C, and D. Then come back and you say, okay, so create this. Because wow. if it was left up to Steve Wozniak, they would have never left that house. Yes. Because Steve just wow. wanted to play with his gadgets and that's it. Steve yeah. Jobs saw the money in the gadgets. Yeah. yeah. So programming, bruh, it will it will change your entire fucking generation. The yeah. amount of money you can make from yeah. it. And I learned this early on when I, you know, like the first time that I went to Belgium, mm. like, you know, you, know you, you go there and you're the only little black guy and all the work is being piled up on you, mm-hmm. right? So this was like my first year there. And these guys were paying me like 6,000 euro. And I've got no kid. You've got no responsibilities. They're paying for your accommodation. You and, and bowling. You are, so this is just like money for you to, to blow. blow. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I know we digress a little. Hmm. Really? And so because I was the newest guy there, um, you know, you know the Shagan state where there's like um, Belgium, Netherlands, yeah, the Germany. Shagen they're like they're like yeah, yeah, yeah. all right next to each other. Mm. So, so the company that I worked for had branches in yeah, all, all these the, other. Yeah, yeah. So then they'll say, okay, fine. So we've got this new guy. We're gonna send him round to all the other branches that are in all these other countries. They figured, yeah, well, he's new, so it's kind of like a punishment. Mm. So whenever I would go, so it would be like an office office block wh- where it was. And so whenever I would move around, I noticed that the other companies around where our office was also needed like IT services and programming. So they ended up saying to me, every single time you make a trip down here, <laughs> do, do something for us. Do this for us and we'll match how much money you're being given. Wow. So I ended up at the end of each month collecting three paychecks. Wow. All because of the amount of work that you would put in and you know a little bit of programming mm-hmm. <clears throat> and you're willing to put in on the work. Exactly. It was it was um it was an experience to this day that I figured, man, you know, yeah, it was, and it, it, then it you came well. back. Yeah. It opens yeah. I've always said this to my dad that I've never made a decision based off my life with money being the motive. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. okay. I hear you. you where I was not really happy to be honest. Mm, mm. Um I never felt like I was home. Mm, I stayed mm. there for 10 years. Mm. Um you would you always felt like an outsider. Of course. They made it apparent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The language, yeah, exactly. uh, the food, the skin color, yeah. the skin color. Yeah. So they would make it known you that you don't to... belong here. Exactly. So though the money was good, and right. though you could travel anyway, the, you know, I, I, can't, I, wasn't I, I, I can't imagine what that feels like—not having people to have an inside joke with. I, I don't know if I for told, ten years. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know if I told you this story yeah. when I was in Germany. I'll show you a photo, and you know how that side you 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 use you you pour petrol by yourself. Yes, yes, there are yes, no yes, petrol yes, attendants, yes, yeah. right? So I leave my car by the pump, and then I walk inside. And I go and I pay and I say, I'm on pump, Number whatever. Mm. I want to show you this photo. And I hope I don't, I hope I find it quick, quick enough. Mm. And so as I'm walking back out, I see a group. I think I told you this story, dude. Yeah, the racism. Why I is see like, why is a, a black group guy? of white kids around my car. And then they say it to me, they say this in Dutch. And then they say it to me, how can a for lack of a better word, a nigga like you afford a car like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. But they said it in Dutch, Ish. right? So then I look at them and then I, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore these guys, mm. right? So then I start walking towards my car and they start getting more and more aggressive. And I get to my car and I begin to pump petrol and these guys start attacking me by chucking eggs and some of those guys no. actually want to come to me, I promise you. And part of me wanted to fuck these guys up but I'm black and they're white. So I figured, let me go back into the store. I go, as I'm walking back to the store, the store, the guy that owns the place locks the door. Wow. Was Imagine that, the, that. Was me, that like the last straw that made you come back? Yeah, I was like, nah, fuck this, man. Yeah, big time. Yeah, you just feel like, why am I suffering? Why yeah, I, I was yeah. like, fuck this. Yeah. I can go back to Africa, be yeah. with my own. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I called mean. my dad and I told my dad about that. I was like, nah, um, life isn't easy. And I'm like, fuck ah, this yeah. shit. I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to look for the photo. I, t- I remember I took a photo of this because I wow. wanted to show wow. this to the police. Wow. But yeah, wow. it was it was fucking ridiculous. Wow. 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 
No, it has happened. We've seen footballers just, you know, you've seen... Yeah, some of Eto'o experienced yeah, that, the monkey, the, yeah, the, the banana yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It happens out there. It happens out there a lot. But the, the ones I don't understand are those who come to live in Africa and then want to be racist. Uh, they're the minority here. How you got, How can you yeah. afford to be racist? Yeah. You know it, what I mean? It happened to me Especially in, in South Africa. Africa. Yeah. It happened to me in Siavonga. So uh, I was hired because I also like playing music. And uh, so we had um, an end of year party for one at the lodge. Yeah. Uh, for fear of whatever, I'm not going to mention the lodge, but they were really, uh, they were racist because we were playing music and the kind of thing like, bie, 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 bie. Yeah. How? And the way they had their own party. Right. And they came to stop our party. I said, okay, it's past time. We have not, our kids are sleeping, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, ah. But I thought they told you that we were playing the whole night. And she literally just went and plugged off the Wow. Uh, came. And now I think... That time I don't met the Lord Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the way you say it, you say it like you met him in a supermarket. <laughs> My favorite, uh, the, is it bad boys? You two motherfuckers you need, need Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. That was it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I used to be very, I used to be very fluent in vulgar language. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happened here. I used to be very no, fluent. You became a dad. Yeah. I used to be yeah. very fluent in it. Doesn't that happen to the best of us? Mm. Mm, okay, because there's ser- serious racism out there. There's serious racism, but there then I've is. always said, you know, if you take a look at like apartheid mm. and um, all these races that were there during apartheid, yeah. mm. and uh, when the blacks won majority of, of the country and the blacks had to rule, what do you think happened to the racists? Do you think they stopped being racists? No. Yeah. It means they can't now openly show their racism exactly because it's no longer law. Because yeah. then it was law. Like the mm. Germans in Namibia. Mm. Yeah, big time. Do you know that yeah. Namibia had the first genocide in this world, in the 1900s, before uh, the Holocaust even happened. Course, yeah. Yeah. You don't say. Yeah, Namibia had the first. Germans killed over 100,000 black people in Namibia because I wanted Germans to dominate Namibia. You should watch the documentary. Yeah. yeah. The title is, is Namibia the New El Dorado? I don't know why, what's, what's El Dorado? I don't, I, don't, I don't get the El Dorado part, but. Hmm. Oh, he found it. Yeah. He found it. That was and you're driving my car, even you. Even you also. Let me see. Yeah, I love oh, this, this one. Yeah. 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 That's my favorite. That's that that's a word. That, yeah. This is why they I had really a problem. What's, yeah. a, what's a black guy dri- doing yeah, driving no, 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 a G wagon? I, I, I support them. I understand them. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. What are you doing with a G wagon? Age, bro. Uh, you, you know the craziest thing I get in Germany is you know that if you if you buy like um I don't know if it's if it's still low now mm-hmm. but if you buy a brand new Mercedes mm-hmm. you only pay. A portion of it, and the government pays the rest. Hmm. Isn't that going to German? I wanted to say um, the other thing that I also picked up is when you were speaking about the shit that Germans did. Was it you said in Namibia? Namibia, yeah. yeah. D- did you hear about what? Um, I don't know what white people, but when they settled in Australia and they found the Aborigines there, yeah. bra. What Germans did to black people is nothing. These people went in and they killed millions of them. Not only did they kill millions of Aborigines, but then what they would do is they would get into a house, right? Then they would separate the families because now if they leave you two, if they leave BJ and the wife, then they're going to make Eventually more. more kids, they'll yeah. make more. So then yeah. they'll take you and place you 10 hours away from your wife. Take your wife, put her somewhere else, take your kids. So they'll separate all these kids. And they'll place them all around so that they don't um, um, multiply. They don't get procreate. To, yeah. yeah. And up until the 1960s, up until the 1960s, the Aborigines were classified under wild animals. Shucks. Animals. Don't turn me into a racist now. Especially after watching this Namibia story this morning, I'm like, this happened just right across the border. They had to change the constitution twice. So not only did they now change it to say that not animals, they're people, but now the current prime minister has now gotten to a point where he wants to level the the playing field where he's saying, if you're an employer, like you own a radio station, right? And if you say, I'm going to hire an Aborigin and I'm supposed to pay that person $5,000, the government will step in to say, we will pay 50% of that salary. So if the salary is 5,000, you pay 2,500 and we'll pay 2,500. Right. So they're now trying to like- Compensate. Compensate and yeah, it's man. Yeah, that's what's happening in Namibia. The blacks are asking for compensation from the the Germans for the damage they did. They killed over 80, close to 100,000 Hereros and Namas. Jesus. And 
same thing in Australia. They'll just shoot them like animals. Oh, wow. And just recently, and in, the graves are just in the desert. And the graves, these are unmarked graves. They just like stones. Man. That's how you know it's a grave. They're just a big rock yeah. on a pile of sand. Right. Yeah, you know there's people buried. There. And just recently, you, you, the finger of uh, one of the, yeah, the yeah, presidents yeah, yeah. in DRC yes. was just brought back from brought Belgium. Back, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we're feeling to bring our broken hue skirt. The broken hue. Oh, from the UK. Yeah, from the UK. Yeah. And uh, how, how come? And, do, and, and people want to tell us about democracy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. BJ, yeah, ah, it's been a good one, man. This thanks was fucking everybody. amazing. Thank so much. Thanks, thanks a lot for coming too. Thanks, thanks, man. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. We need to we need to have you again as um as a co-host. Co- yeah. I'll yeah. be extremely yeah. humble. Um, I think it's Mrs. Nurbert who brought the good vibes today. Wow. Oh, we think so too. Yeah. Thanks, I, man. I really I'm can't wait for your you. roast, and I really can't wait to hear how you're gonna roast all the 14 people to roast you. Because I think that's gonna be the highlight of the show. It's on the fourth of August. At the music club, yeah. Osaka music club, we're there. But also, can they remember? Being sold for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was, uh, I think uh, the guys like what, Jim, uh, G- Kruger, Jameson, uh, Jason Kruger, and yeah. the team, the yeah. students are uh, doing that. Because we're selling rows. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we, we're selling rows and we're selling single tickets, right. but they're going to do it. But can, can I appeal to the Zambians to vote, please, for. For the oh crap yeah, yeah, yeah. for coin as well for yes, coin yes, as well yes. yeah it's, it's coin here yes yeah. so if there's a link that you that you have where people can vote share that with us yeah we'll show the link and also not because it's hundred votes per person I think right. so we have five we have got five entries there's coin uh, coin is going in two with some makichus a booger and uh, right. jila yeah. and then we have another guy then there's impali there's Maso. so if you can do 20 20 20 20 we would really appreciate it. because right, if you split it, all, let's get voting for yeah, this piece man yeah, let's, let's have some nah, awards because yeah. no zamen has ever won those awards is it? have they no but i think they've attended preston and them did attend but i don't know if we have uh we have we brought back one speaking of zambians doing good things and amazing things and phenomenal things Ivanka bianca no man no. okay What's wrong with you? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. Congratulations and shout out to Sapa the Great. Oh, oh yes! Yes! yes, yes. Jimmy Fallon. Yes. Jimmy, and Michelle yeah, Obama, yeah. Angelique Kijo. Uh, uh, Kali- yeah. Angel- Angelique Kijo. That girl Amazing. is unstoppable. She's going to bring an award. She's going to bring the Grammys. Grammy, yeah, yeah, she's going to bring she's a Grammy. She's unstoppable. Yeah. Yeah. I watched the performance and Jesus, man, I was blown away. Yeah, I was too. Hi, can I come to- back in a few minutes? The wife. Ooh. Gong, gong, gong. Gong. You, I'll take you to Livingstone. <laughs> <laughs> you said that you said that as you hung up. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's amazing, man. Nah, she's, 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 yeah, she's phenomenal. She's, she's phenomenal. Nah, nah, she's doing yeah, the most. Yeah, really doing the most. Big time, and the song was called what? Let Me Be Great. Let Me Be Great, Let yeah, great. with Angelique Kijo. Ah, I love amazing. the performance and... Uh, at least this time I could hear the lyrics. On the album, I can't hear the lyrics of the song. Oh, this is and shout out to Joseph really. Peary. He bought you and I vinyls. The vinyls, yes. Yeah, yes. From, oh, um, for Sample the Great. Yeah, yeah, the from, uh, from Australia. He yeah. spent uh, hundreds of dollars. Wow. On to us. Buy on us. Awesome. Now, you guys are doing a great job. And, uh, Thanks a lot, man. Yeah, please. Yeah, 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 keep doing what you do. And don't change your vibe for anything for shit. else. No, no, no. Yeah, uh, my, my mother told me I should uh, never change. No, no, no. You two niggas need Jesus in your life. <laughs> <laughs> to the next episode, remember to click on subscribe. Please, the bigger the numbers, the please, bigger guests we can have. Like BJ. Subscribe. Uh, sorry for saying ah, the, the, the BJ pod. The BJ. Let's just say Henry Peary. The bigger the BJ. It's BJ. <laughs> <laughs> it's BJ. May, may you kindly please. Um, and again, when we're in Livingston, Kalen and I, we are going to give away, we've been threatening to give away, uh, groceries worth 5,000 kwacha yep. to five people. We need to give away tickets. We will be giving yeah, away tickets will, will. to Livingston, right? So this airs on Tuesday. Yep. We would have already done it on Sunday, right? No, we're not doing it on Sunday because of Jito. So yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. So we most likely will do it on the Wednesday, maybe. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Yeah, so anybody who's lucky or anybody wants to give me some ass, you could get tickets, <laughs> VIP tickets. Um, to <laughs> yep, to the next episode. Have a lovely day. Dun, dun, dun.